Good morning, good morning, good morning, garden family. Today is another beautiful day, and I'm out in the garden. It's early in the morning, and um, so I'm doing a challenge. We've been challenged by Miss Renee, um, and it's called TC, hashtag TCB, taking care of business. So I have been out here the past couple of days um, taking care of business anyway. So since she announced this challenge, I just thought I would show you guys what I am doing. So right there, I have my tarp hash, well, well, slash um, garden cover to protect the the garden i made that hashtag ninja rigged it um up there to protect my peppers and so those peppers right there and then i have my eggplants and tomato plants over here um so i cleaned this area up because if y'all remember this was a hot mess i moved the angel trumpet from over here and i cleaned all of this up because um the plants were starting to get blight with all the rain so every, i came in and just chopped <sighs> majorly just put, took those poor tomato plants down to almost nothing to um so they can thrive and they could get air and breathe so they wouldn't um, die. So let me turn this camera around, hold on. All right, y'all, so y'all, you guys can see that better. So um, for the past couple of days, it's been like 100 degrees out here. So um, I didn't want the plants to start burning and just drying out and dying. So I put that up there the best way I could um and in, in the evening when the sun the sun starts shining really about what three when it's like at its peak i'll come out and i will put the tarp back over um so that is just one thing that i did to clean up the garden um let me bring you guys around this way so I took my strawberry plant and cleaned that up um, I don't know if you guys can see down there the it's starting the runners are starting to come out so I put soil at the that um, the light blue one at the bottom and I've been putting the little sprouts inside of the dirt in the bottom so they can keep running this one over here i have to replant that one because look guys they are running um so i will be repotting that one and this is my collard greens it's doing pretty good i'm just gonna leave that be for right now but other than that let's see other take care of uh, business things I've been doing so these are some of my tomato plants that were getting they had a, a lot of I guess you would say blight and dryness and dead just dead leaves so I removed all this from off of um, these two plants this morning and then I put some rope just to like bring them up and cut that those bottom leaves off of there so they would not get any more blight um taking it as far as taking care of business if you guys can see let me take you off of here so <clears throat> back to the taking care of business i have been replanting for the fall season so that is honeydew melon right there 
and these right here are some cantaloupe we have some cucumbers right here um and as you guys can see those have started to sprout um i have some chocolate bell peppers right there i don't know if the bell peppers are gonna grow but i said nothing beats a failure but a try um some green onions we have some red onions over here what is this um yeah i tried the okra again and we'll see if that's going to sprout nothing beats a failure but a try right right okay so that is another part of my taking care of business let me bring you to these guys over here so this is my mint i left this baby out um like i told you guys it was like a hundred degrees and all of the leaves started burning up so i clipped off as much as possible um i still have a couple of leaves on there but it's looking so much better and y'all it smells so much better so this is a bonnie plant that i actually bought from um wally world and i have been having it pushed to the back so that it gets some kind of coverage um these are some suckers that i took off my tomato plants i actually um like wound that one up hedged i don't know what you call it but y'all know what i'm talking about <clears throat> And then this one, I'm waiting for this these to grow some roots um, so that I can put them into... Oh, and look. Y'all see those roots right there? Right there. So, um, once they, the roots come out a little bit more, they will be going into the soil. Um, I... This was some lettuce. I took all the lettuce out and amended this so it's ready for whatever seeds I decide to put up in there. I'm going to clean this up again. I don't know about today. But back to the taking care of business. All of this has been cleaned up, spruced up. I still have a couple of more leaves to clean off of this one right here. And I will be harvesting some collards today. Yo, I cooked some collards the other day. Talk about delish. Delish. And then I have some cherry tomatoes right here that I will be pulling off. This is my sugar cane I'm letting it do what it do and and then I have some volunteer plants right there it it's to me it's looking like cucumbers but I don't know so we shall see I'm gonna cover those up so they don't um, burn up and then I'm just smothering this grass over here that's been getting so tall. I did have some watermelon growing over here, but I cut it down. And then my next thing is this hog panel that I bought. I'm gonna clean those watermelon um, vines off of there and put that to use. And then, let me see. If I can stand you guys up, y'all won't be so crooked. So I'm going to come back um, <clears throat> over in this area. 
and fill that with cover that with dirt and the cardboard will actually kill the grass that's underneath there so and then y'all i have some more i don't know if you guys can see over there two more one right there and then one right there two more little volunteer plants so we shall see what that is and that's peat moss so i figured the most economical way to fill this up will be with peat moss so yeah um and i'm gonna do the same thing right here so guys up to this part i'm gonna clean this up because I'm thinking about actually sitting out here in the at night time when it cools off and just enjoying my garden. So let's get started with taking care of business of cleaning this area up again.
right, yo. So, everybody knows, well, if you don't know, that keeping your patio area clean, your space where you chill with your me time, clean, free of clutter, um, is a great benefit. It helps you relax. You enjoy looking at it when you come to sit down. You can have peace, get your mind together, pray, focus, plan, meditate, whatever you want to do. Just enjoy the space that you're in. And you cannot do that or think clearly or be focused on what you're doing when you're thinking about, oh, this look a mess, or oh, I need to clean this up, or I need to pick that up, or look at them tomatoes, they just overgrown i need to pick them so cleaning is a very crucial part of the hashtag tcb part of your garden So that's going to be it for this episode of hashtag TCB taking care of business with Miss Renee. She challenged everybody, all the ladies in the, and guys in the garden community to go in the garden and take care of business. I have one more thing that I have to do clean that area back up put, put everything back in its place and that is what is getting done today because it is getting hot outside so y'all I hope y'all enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up share me with your friends subscribe to my channel it's free to subscribe it's free 99 and I will see you guys in the next video. And until the next time, y'all, peace.